Hey guys, Road Rippers here, and today I'm going to show you how you can copy slash clone a storage device. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this link here. The link will be in the description, and we're going to download the Mini Tool Partition Wizard. So we're just going to click the free download button here, and then it will start downloading the installer. Now once the installer has been downloaded, we can now open it up. And it is important that you do pay attention during the installation process, so we're just going to click OK on our language. And then we will accept the license agreement, and we will use the default installation location, and we'll click next. And then now you can decide if you want to create a desktop shortcut, I don't. And you can also decide if you want to take part in the customer experience improvement program. I don't want to take part in that either, so I'm going to untick both of those and then click next. Now it is important that you do pay attention on this screen, as if you don't untick this box down here, then Avast Antivirus will also be installed along with the mini tool partition. So we're just going to untick that box down there so we don't get Avast installed, and then I'm going to click next. And then we will just click install. And then we will just click finish. And we can just minimize this. And now mini tool partition wizard has now opened up. So now what we need to do is we just need to select the disk that we want to copy. So I'm going to select disk 1, the 120 gigabyte one here. And then once you've selected the disk that you want to copy, we can then click on copy disk here. Now at this window here, you then want to select the target disk that you want to copy to. So for me, I'm going to copy it to this 4 terabyte hard drive here. Now it is important that you don't have anything on the drive that you want to keep, as everything will be wiped off the drive. So don't have any important information on the drive that you want to copy the other drive to. So whatever you select as your target disk will end up being wiped. So I've selected my target disk here. And then I'm going to click next. And as you can see, it is warning you that all the data on the disk will be destroyed. So that is on the target disk that you have selected to copy to. So I'm going to click yes. So now you can select between two different copy options. So with option one, that will just increase the size of the storage partition. So as you can see here, that will make that this partition only be 2% used, as it will increase the size of the partition, as the disk I'm copying to is much larger than the disk I'm copying from. Now if you don't want the partition to be resized, then you can select the option two, and that will keep all the partitions the same size, and then just leave any space that's left over as an unallocated partition. I'm just going to leave it on the first option and then I'm going to click next and then I'm going to click finish. So now to actually start the copying process we're just going to check this down here just make sure that it is the correct drive and then once you've made sure that it is the correct disk that you're copying to all we need to do is just click the apply button up here and then we're going to click yes and now it's going to start copying the data over onto our selected location. Right, so now that's finished, all the data should now have been copied over onto the drive that we have selected. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget the like button. If you decided to hit the dislike button, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.